Caitlin Patterson with Midwest Muscle. We're here at Dave Yates Show, the Mr. and Mrs. Natural Illinois, here in, in Bradley, and we got uh, a nice show going. I'm here with the overall OCB Spring. That's inaugural, right? First one? Yeah, inaugural Spring Natural OCB. And this is Larry Montgomery. I, I'm sure you guys remember from the ABA. This guy took that show, tried to take it all. And then you went to the, the spring, spring natural got that and overall. what happened there? Got that overall at Spring Natural. Now, you were, are one of the few people that said, you know, I had things I needed to correct, and you actually went out and corrected. You just wasn't given lip service. You actually did the work. Oh, yeah, I had, had to do the work. When you come to these competitions and you compete, a good thing to do is get the videos, get the pictures, because then you see what you have to work on, you see what you have to bring up. And I saw those pictures. I said, hey, I need to bring these legs up. So I worked like a demon on the legs, bring them up. Now, nah, this should be my year. I'm trying to get three pro cards and three different organizations, mm -hmm. and I'm ready. Now, you're one of the few guys that it didn't come in and win your first show, win your second show, but you went winning. But, you know, as far as the overall, now to take overall, how do you feel about that? Well, winning overalls, I'm expecting it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said before, I'm bringing a pro to the stage. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not coming to these competitions hoping that the competition isn't good. I, I don't care who the competition I is. Like I I'm like bringing a, the pro to the stage. I'm bringing the overall champion to the stage. And that, that's how I prepare. Now, having, uh, you know, winning a show like, like Ray's, where, where you, you know the guy's a good promoter, you know he's trying to do everything for competitors. How does that feel, you know, when you actually take, when a, when a promoter takes care of you, to, you know, to bring your best? Like you're saying, you're not going there wait, hoping anybody comes up less, but to do more, you got a promoter like that that's doing things for the competitors and getting everything taken care of, the expediters are where they need to be, everything's running this smooth. To win in a show like that, how does that, you know, how do you feel like you, you that's, a, that's like a great thank you? Well, at the competitors meeting, he did a lot of question and answer, you know, he asked you know, how things should run from a competitive standpoint because he competed before, mm -hmm. so he knows what's going on in our minds. So he's trying to actually make the show competitor friendly. So he asks us a lot about, you know, how to do the prejudging and uh, asks us about the trophies. And it, it, it made us feel good to let us know that the promoter actually cared from his perspective to our perspective. And, and, you know, that's that's a great feeling, especially, you know, now that, you know, competitors coming in deeper, they're coming in in better shape, to, to be on time with your diet, to be on time with, the, you know, when they actually schedule something, it's actually happening, so you can actually plan it. So you're not just stepping on stage, but you're stepping on stage looking your best. Yeah, you, well, the thing about it is, with me, I'm hitting a lot of shows this year, mm -hmm. so I'm keeping it on edge all year. You know, I found a nice little routine, nice little diet where I can stay in between five and seven pounds from, from stage performance weight. So, and it's working for me, and I'm actually receiving gains from that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, when I come out with this book, it's going to be a part of that. You know, how to stay lean and still, keep, uh, still make gains. Oh, I like that. You know, not just stepping on stage, but actually stepping in the minds of others. And, you know, you've been real big about promoting natural. You've been back, real nice about giving back to the, you know, the natural community. And, you know, what do you tell the person, you know, because we got a lot of first-time competitors in this show. What do you tell them? Because I saw some people asking you questions even today. Well, the first-time competitors, sometimes you see that they're nervous. You might want to go over to them and, you know, work with them on pose and see, see you know, with how they, you know, doing a lot of things. A lot of people don't have coaches. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't have the experience to know exactly what they're looking like. You know, I, I work with a guy couple days ago on pose and you know I just picked him out I knew he was going to uh, come in for a show he was doing a show next week mm -hmm. and I was like come on let's just work on posing and you can see that he's been practicing putting the work in but he just hasn't had anybody looking at him mm -hmm. you know so it was a couple tweaks a couple tighten this up do this you know he, he was there but he wasn't there mm -hmm. you know so a lot of times a lot of guys need somebody that has experience yeah. to just give them that outside eye you, you really don't know what you look like mm -hmm. you know it, it sometimes take that outside eye you know, me, I've been doing it for a minute. I know every inch of my body. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, the new guys, you know, you need to help them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's one thing I give to them. I'm decent on posing, so I help them out with that. Now, you know, Keith was, Keith Hunter, which is one of the, the, the head judges of this show, he said something that was really nice, and I think a lot of people need to think about that. There's people in your corner, and there's yes people. And that's what he was uh, referring to this morning. You want to elaborate on that? Well, people in your corner and yes people is when you ask them, <laughs> Man, how, oh, you look great. 
everything is, you look great. I'm like, no. A lot of people, like, when I first started, I really didn't know what I was compared to another bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. You know, you can always look. You, you're actually supposed to be one of the best in the gym. If you're competing on bodybuilding stage, you're supposed to go to the gym and look better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. So everybody's going to say, oh, you look awesome. But I'm like, dude, you comparing me to grandma over there. I need yeah. to know what it, I look like compared to another bodybuilder. Exactly. You know, so you need people that have experience to actually tell you and critique you the way you need to be critiqued, you know? Exactly. And sometimes it's tough love. It, they're gonna tell you some things that you don't wanna hear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you ask the right person and you don't wanna hear, you might not wanna ask them. Right. But you need to know all that information. You need to know every little bit. You don't wanna leave anything on the table. All right, well, I'm here with Larry Montgomery, overall champion of OCB. And I mean, that's a great running show. Inaugural, how does it feel to feel the first show they do and you win overall? When they told me that it was the inaugural show, and I was the overall champion. I'm like, you know what? You can always win shows, but to be the first, that's something. You know, I, I came away with my little statue and my little trophy. I was feeling a little extra special. I won overalls before, but to be the first, mm -hmm. that works for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a show got going, pre judging is going on in the background. I'm sure you've seen it. And we're going to get started. Larry, thanks again. Congratulations. As always. You know, I know you're a hard worker. Everybody's telling it. So you know it's getting done. You're doing it naturally, always right. Kaylin Patterson, Larry Montgomery, Dave Yates, thank you for a good show. We are out. <laughs>